this, yeah, this is the same uh, Sherman Firefly which got shot at by Grandiers earlier. And he's gonna go out and uh, support these troops on the left. That Puma with the 50mm upgrade is not gonna stand up to this Firefly. The Firefly is superior against any kind of vehicles the Vermont might bring if he managed to survive. We should use those Fireflies at range which they are best on because of the powerful 70 pounder. Oh, mortar fire bridge has to retreat once again. And we're gonna see, yeah, probably a firestorm right here on this space. Or not. I think he was trying to scout or to put down a firestorm, but he didn't. I don't know why he didn't. Because he had the munis for it. Uh, well was tr just maybe trying to do some recon or in space or something. Oh, the commandos built a trench here on the west front. Ah, the firefly goes down. <laughs> That's too bad. Both Pumas are in very low health though, so we gotta have to, gotta have to retreat. Even though there's no counters, counters for them at the moment. Ah, uh, Commandos gotta have to retreat too. But the Grenadiers gotta get away first. <coughs> I'm gonna take a sip of water. Excuse me. More more Nibelwerfers incoming. Yes. Nibelwerfers are a pain in the ass for the British. Yep. British troops are gonna trying to get back here and uh, get some healing from that casualty clearing station. You can see there, there's a lot of uh, craters here in the British base and there's a half dead 17 pounder and a, another 17 pounder which died earlier on. We have a ti King Tiger versus a Sherman Firefly here. And the Firefly out ranges the King Tiger. You can see the Firefly shooting, but the King Tiger is just standing there taking shots. Once again, nice shot there from the Firefly. The King Tiger is down to almost half health now. And he decides to back away. Oh, we have some buttoning action here. Oh, is that real artillery? No, it's fake again. More fake artillery from the British player. Very effective use from that. But the, the scarce of the infantry was, which was defending. Oh, action here on the left hand side. Oh, we managed to uh, leave a uh, Panther Shrek and a Blight MG42 light machine gun here. That was terrible for the Axis. Oh, sure, Fireflies. Now, uh, actually, doing some very nice damage to all these. Uh, this Axis vehicle, something died here, I don't know what, what that was, but it was a probably an infantry section which got killed by something. Sorry, I can't. 
see everything for you guys. Fireflies gotta back out of there. And they need some repairs. You can see this firefly is pretty low on health. Not much action on the left side. He should probably demo charge the area here once again. Oh! Zappers are gonna die to the incendiary damage. Ooh, he almost <laughs> is uh, re reinforcing while taking casualties. That was lucky because this, that's what almost went down, and that's an uh, expert. Uh, this is the what are they call their colors? Some expert repair sappers. It was uh, such a long time ago I played the uh, British, so I can't remember the name for those expert engineers or what they're called. You can see the little tool right there under the icon. Uh, one thing to notice, they look pretty cool when you zoom in on them, I think. Okay, I can't see it now. Oh, whatever. I thought they had a different skin when they are. When they were upgraded. Oh, there they are. No, yeah, they have. No. Well, they're with pair now, so I can see that. Not very much action going on at the moment. That's some light harassing by the Grandiers. Infantry section scanner will probably kill that Grandiers squad, which should have been retreated a long time ago. The uh, Axis player getting impatient. He wants to win this right away, but he's getting pushed back by all these forces from the bridge. I think he should really get a pack to counter those Sherman fly Fireflies properly. He's he has tier 2 up, but he doesn't have any packs. Hmm. Oh, more uh, fake artery coming down or <laughs> being used. Yeah. No what player is buying that trick? Ah, oh, that was a huge mistake from the Axis player. He ran right into the huge forces of uh, the British player. This KT is might gonna go down right now because of those fireflies they're doing so much damage. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh <laughs> he kills his own uh grandiers in those that house from the from the Nibelwerfer damage there on that house. Holy shit that was terrible for Axis. Oh, we have uh, commandos fighting against that three pioneers, and those pioneers are not gonna have a good time against that. That squad of commandos, actual real archer from the commando doctor there. Commandos went down. You probably would thought it was another fake arty but this time it was real and it was very effective against that squad and actually killed all of the men capping that strat point. Commandos gotta get out of there, that Puma's been very annoying against the commandos which actually had a pants trick but it didn't kill the the Puma, uh, probably because it's veteran C3 and the Pen Strike missed a lot. Puma 
Oh shit, I actually clear this uh, demolition charge. Which was very nice. Let's see. Oh, the Vermont player is actually down to 47 victory points. He's probably gonna lose here because the British player is controlling the right hand side very nicely. Oh sure, <laughs> Firefly thinking down pioneers once again. Now, and is being assisted by a Cromwell as we speak. Yes, just watch the action here. <laughs> Some nice uh, <coughs> company here action. Forces being. Upward and KT is taking fire from our Firefly. Meanwhile, Grenadiers are capping, trying to desperately cap. S sorry, I'm just gonna take another sip of water. <coughs> Grenadiers desperately trying to cap the victory points back to their favor. There is a trench here with uh, brand, uh, brand gunners inside and they are gonna do some <coughs> uh, damage to anyone who's trying to cap this point. Take almost no damage while they're inside that trench. But King Wings is capping the left hand side again and he's probably gonna win this battle now. Yep. I don't think there's much uh, the Axis players can do at this point. He has three vet three Nibels though, so... <laughs> he has a lot of forces, but the victory points is t just ticking down for him. A sniper and a pack ship could have been a lot better against these uh, British forces. The tiger is gonna die. And a second. Sapper is firing with her PLs and the Firefly is also shooting at him. Oh, boom, there he goes. <laughs> the. The Axis player actually lagged out as you can see there, but I'm not gonna comment on that. I'm just gonna say that he he dropped out of the game and uh, when this this game is also over right now, so playback over as you can see here. It was a pretty nice game with some uh, <coughs> nice action. The Wehrmacht had a very nice advantage uh, in the first part of the game, but he, <laughs> the British player actually made a very nice comeback in the later stages of the game and managed to win by victory points. He should have won by victory points if the Wehrmacht player didn't drop, but okay, GG and if you like this uh, game and my shoutcast, please uh, rate, comment and subscribe. See you guys later.